Hello, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe my channel at first and share my videos. Thank you. We are now looking to uh, OMG. Um, G. Uh, let's look first. Look to let's look um, to Bitcoin price. Um, all the all analyze depends on uh, Bitcoin. You see, we reach here in the red area and. Uh, here is important that um, if we want to go to the top side in direction of uh, 42,000, then we have to stay at these levels. Yeah, then we have an opportunity to go to the top side. And uh, if we break this trend channel to the downside, this is the trend channel, then we have uh, bad news for Bitcoin because then we retest this area again and then fall to 20,000 or 10,000. These two uh, scenarios. Uh, is uh, here at this chart yeah uh, the for this these two the possibilities we have once is that we go to 42,000 or we go to the downside let's look to omiseko you see um i allow this uh dip or well, not the dip the spike to the top side here you see this and um i think we will see a very very good uh, price because you see this was uh, 60 cent going to 10 dollar uh, and then goes back to 3 dollar and that means that we um, that means that we test this trend line or support line we have also this here and we are now at this channel here yeah and uh, the question is if bitcoin falls from 40000 or at from this level to 10000 what happens to omiseko if uh, have you have we the possibility to stay at these levels here if we can stay at these levels then this is very positive because then the next step is that we go very very sharply to the top side yeah something like that or we can stay go to five dollar or five dollar eighty five yeah after that we make some moves in this direction and the next price is the in direction of sixteen dollar left shoulder head and the right shoulder something like that can also happen uh, it's all depend on bitcoin uh, if bitcoin price uh, fall to ten thousand then it's uh, um, difficult that we see something like that but from technical point of view that makes sense that we stay at these levels here and um, let's look if we don't this was one scenario the other scenario is if we don't stay at these levels we go uh, if bitcoin goes to 10,000 then we go here in these levels yeah that we stay at these levels at the 40 cent and then um, try to make some moves in this area yeah? something like that yeah left shoulder head and then we would make the right shoulder here in this area again something like that is also possible it's all depending from uh, to the Bitcoin price. Yeah, you have this. You have something like this, and you see, uh, this is also possible. We have here a formation of a left shoulder, and uh, it can be also possible because we have here also negative signs. Yeah, let's look. I'm very excited about the Bitcoin price. If we can stay at this level, then the high price is uh, possible. But after we reach this, then I expect lower prices in this direction, and then the uh, the price can also testing these levels. Yeah, these levels here. Yeah. We have to look these two, these two two scenario we have. Uh, the one scenario is that we stay at these levels here. Uh, and then not going through this trend channel here to the downside and uh, go to the top side or we go to the downside if break if bitcoin breaks the trend lines here and go to 10,000 
then we have a little problem at the Omiseko, then the price will go to the uh, 40 cents level. Yeah, we have to look. Let's look more in detail in this. What happens here? You see, also we have here some formations here, and then you see we have let's look, we have a little bit last actions. I think we will see something like that. The price can go in direction, maybe. Let's look, let's look, let's look, let's look if we can stay or reach these levels because. One thing is, we are in the red area, and if Bitcoin pumps to uh, 42,000 or 40,000, then something like that will happen uh, to all um, altcoins. But we have also the negative channel here, and um, let's look what happened here. It can be also a fake uh, outbreak from uh, Omiseko, something like that, yeah. That we can stay at these levels here and then fall to the downside. Yeah. Do you see this? We test here is a fake uh, outbreak and then we go to the downside. And after that, you see this uh, triangle here that we can make some moves, test these levels again, something like that, and then we fall to the downside here. You see the trend is going in these levels. Be careful. The, the walls are uh, not stupid. Yeah, I think something like that can also happen. Or you see, we have this here. We test this again, and then uh, and then we fall through this triangle. Uh, to the downside. Yeah. Let's look. It makes sense because we have also here uh, from the huge point of view also a negative trend here, but uh, we can also um, get here a positive signs because if Bitcoin goes to 40,000 then something like that can also happen that we Break this uh, trend line to the top side, short, yeah, and then go then to the downside. Uh, this is also possible. Let's look. It's all depending on uh, Bitcoin, and uh, let's look what happened here. If you fall here to the downside or go to the top side and then go to the downside. Have a nice day. See you later.